Of the season, you got share the blame, you know. You can, well, I saw this nice shirt, you know. You didn't get much of a close season, the under 21s. You're back at it again, and uh, a lot of the under 21s dug in tonight, including Conor McConville and probably the man of the match, Tian Kelly. But you have your own views on that. What's the night get the two points? It was a typical derby, nothing given away. Nothing I know, listen, we, we knew like playing the Sarsfields would be just a mammoth task. Like, you know, Sarsfields have been a senior club for a long time, a lot of experience there. You see a lot of the boys that they have there, mm -hmm. you know, the serious experience here. And that, that, like, for all of it, and we have had a lot of underage success, absolutely, and it is great. Mm -hmm. But you can't buy experience. Like, you have to sort of go through things to get experience, mm -hmm. and that's the one thing that, you know, that we do lack, even so. There. We made a lot of silly mistakes and things there that more seasoned players probably wouldn't do, you know. There was a wee bit of a sort of a delay at the start with the referee not showing up. It was a wee bit late, obviously not his fault, but a wee bit of aggression in the first 10 minutes and then the game settled. It was an interesting game even for the neutrals. Hi, look, look, look listen, there was a big crowd. You're down at Clannan Park. It's the first match of the league. It's a local derby. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to get... Like, those boys there are all, and Sarsfields and Clannan are all put in a serious commitment. You yeah. know, you, you see it when you see it down at first hand there. So, you know, you're going to get things like that there and stuff. And as for the referee, yes, look, you get this here. At the end of the day, referees of their own lives and not professionals. Yes. You know, you, we can be frustrated at the time, but you, you know, like that sort of stuff, you know. You brought Ryan Meehan on there, you have Connor Turbot to come back, so you haven't got a full hand yet, but are you looking forward to blending those boys in, Martin, through the season? Yeah, yeah, I know. Just the past couple of weeks with a few injuries, you know, uh, Connor Turbot and didn't. We played Kerry Duff last week and Danny McGee went over in the ankle and uh, Chris McCaffrey's back with us now and he just, he, he pulled his hamstring just, you know, so a few few bits yeah. and pieces of it, Not, nothing serious or long term, hopefully get those boys yeah. back in, it strengthens the squad, you know, yeah. just increases morale and that type of thing, you know, just so it does. So. Well, tonight about anything else, only getting two points really? Two points? Dude, that's all it is. Jeez, listen, Eugene, we, and you were there, like some of the days that we had last year down here. Um, mm -hmm. Very humbling. <laughs> yeah. And it can be like that. So just just mm -hmm. to get just to get two points was brilliant for us. Like a good start. I mean, last year we when we played, we were due to play our first match on Arma Harps. Uh, it was rained off. Mm -hmm. We had to go to Green Moor, which we mm -hmm. had to do next week. Yeah. Without a game under our belt. So mm -hmm. you know, I suppose the, the thing when the referee wasn't showing up. Uh, Kind of thinking this is deja vu yeah, here, you yeah, know, for the season. So I was just glad that he did, yeah. you know. Did you think Sarsby didn't play their normal traditional game? They normally a run team plays short. They had a lot of high ones in the first half, as course, with difficulty. But when you got the grip, what we was basically pretty fit at the end. But I felt that we, I mean, our fitness is pretty good and we've worked hard. But I felt that you know, uh, Sarsby's played a lot of running stuff in the second half mm -hmm. and stuff, you know, and, mm -hmm. and they're they're a dangerous team. Like it's pretty like anything here's a. The Wiley manager and yeah. everybody at Planner knows that. We do. don't need to be told that. Our yeah. players and, and anyone mm -hmm. in the club have huge respect for him. So we would know like, that Kieran, yeah. uh, he constantly yeah. switches things up, keeps the other yeah. managers on their yeah. toes. So, you know. Just finally, Martin, what's it like to have that competition where your players always chum with a bit, all maybe 10 or 12 boys in the bench who could get their places in Planner? It's nice to have that wee luxury. Yeah, no, absolutely. And as I said, hey, well, a few more boys coming back. It's just the morale. Get it, eh, Eugene? Like, you know. When you get loads of people down, training sessions are better, matches are better, mm -hmm. better for you, good factors. So it's just, you know. It's, Excellent. It's, it's good luck for the rest of the season. Here. Thanks, Eugene. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you, Martin.